In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to use a um, database with uh, NetBeans. Um, then, then there will be a series of uh, SQL or SQL uh, statements. Um, let's see. Uh, the first thing you need to do is you have to load a JDBC driver or a database driver so that you can connect your Java application to your database. So let me start with um, loading uh, JDBC driver. So for this case, I'm using MySQL or MariaDB is the same thing. So class here, say for name, that's the method. We can uh, specify driver name you need to uh, look at the driver manual. Uh, it's quite different from one company to another. So Java, uh, here we will say com mysql. New driver has additions called cj.jdbc and driver. Used to be com mysql jdbc and driver. Now we have uh, cj. And uh, here it says that you need to do uh, insertion handling because you're, you are loading additional driver or class. If the driver is not available and your program uh, unexpectedly terminated, that means you have to do insertion handling. That's why we have a try and catch. Okay. So let me put it there and um, keep it outside. So we have a try and catch. So let me uh, try to learn it, uh, what will happen to this. But uh, we like to see uh, if it's successful. We like to see this message saying that uh, try to load it. Compile. We are expecting some server error. Because this application doesn't have any uh, driver yet. So this is a typical error message you may be able to see. Java language class not found exceptions. Basically saying uh, what we are trying to load here. Package name all the way to um, driver is not loaded because we are using standard JDK only. So here add jar folder plus real uh, MySQL driver select it. That's the one. So now your project has a MySQL driver. You should be able to run this program. See, it's a uh, driver loaded. Every, that means everything is in uh, order. So every Java project, if you are going to use uh, MySQL database, you must add at least once. Um, you have to add your your database driver. In this case, MySQL driver. Now try to uh, establish your connection with uh, MySQL database or DBMS. So class name is a uh, collection as a uh, collection and CONN. Driver manager get collections. Again, this has to be um, very specific according to the database you are going to use. So I'm using again MySQL. So JDBC MySQL colon localhost 3306. Database is, database name is test. Uh, user and password for accessing the database is user1 and pass one Let me import collection class. And then you need to report Java SQL 
then driver manager class. Again, it says that you need to do um, insertion handling for SQL insertion class. Okay, now insertion handling is useful when you're dealing with a file system or database and uh, networking. So this is the typical way of using uh, insertion handling. Uh, usually, uh, database management system, you may need to catch two exceptions. One is class not found exception. Another one is SQL exception. Uh, those are sufficient enough in general. Again, uh, you may have uh, this problem. Uh, you may not have this problem. Your server time zone. Again, I'm outside the UTC time zone, so depends. So let me copy paste the uh, error message. So if you look at here, server time zone value unknown is register. I'm using localhost with uh, uh, UTC. Um, so here you will remember um, previously we say question mark. We can set server time zone manually equal to UTC. That way uh, I can avoid the problem with the uh, time zone. Okay. So database is collected. So if you are uh, in UTC zone, you don't have to do that. But if you are outside the United States or you are different uh, time zone, you may need to set up this manually to avoid this error message. Normally, what we need to do at the beginning is um, we initialize our application, saying uh, we need to create a table we are going to use for the applications. So I'm going to use that. Okay. First, we need to do is create a statement using statement class. Somehow this doesn't quite work, so let me type it manually. Import. Statement is under Java SQL statement. Let me import the class. Once you create a statement, you should be able to execute. Uh, it depends, okay? So normally what you can do is, if you look at uh, SQL, there are most likely drop table, create table, something you don't expect to get uh, returned, for example, insert, update, or uh, delete statements. You can use uh, this, you can eject your statements. Uh, select is different, okay? We are using different things. Uh, let's say, uh, let me start with the create. I will eventually demonstrate all of them, but let me begin with the uh, create table. Without table, there's nothing much we can do. So create a table. So let me uh, type the SQL uh, text. I will just say SQL text or SQL up to you. Null value here SQL text because we are going to look at multiple statements. So let me separate it. Normally I like to uh, type SQL or SQL syntax 
capitalize it for little word. So employee. It's always a good idea to add additional space at the end. Your SQL text. Parts are up to six characters long. Not long comma. Uh, I'm going to have uh, five different fields. So name bots are, let's say, 25, not null. Means uh, you, this field cannot be empty or this column cannot be uh, empty value. So age, uh, I will use int, stands for integer in uh, MySQL. Not null, again, um, we must have a data for that. And then gender, I'm going to use a char. Character value, single, not null. One more to go. Uh, address, parts are 25 characters long. We close the statement. You don't have to include semicolon, okay? Um, with this in your SQL statement, so don't undo that. Statement here, what we are looking at here is exact update. If you go all the way down, next one, here if you look at the comments, it says that you can use um, exact the given statement. If you go a little bit more down, it says that uh, you may use with insert, update, delete. So basically data manipulation uh, language, you can use it what we call as a DML in database. So exact the uh, given SQL statement. Let's see whether we can actually list to this ta uh, sentence. Table created. I already have a table, so it should give us some warning or oh, error. Here I say table already exists. That's what I expected. Normally, uh, it's a good idea to initialize your table at the beginning, of course. But the only way to redo it is um, not a best practice, but we assume that if there's an existing table, we uh, remove it. So what we call it as a drop table. For this demonstration, uh, whenever we run this program, we drop table, create a new table. Eventually insert dummy data, then uh, update and delete, and print it out all again. That's the idea of um, this exercise. I saw, say, um, employee table drop. Sorry, that should be a double quotation. Let me move, go up. Null file, okay, or says that driver is loaded, collected database, table drop, and table created. So let's uh, have a look. So we are looking at the last one, collected. There's a database name called test. There is a table. View data here. Of course, it's empty table, but at least we know that we have a table means we just create one table. Uh, maybe I'm going to do one more and then I will stop for today. Uh, if we have a table, uh, we would like to see some some data. So. So let me insert some dummy record to employee table. We are eventually going to use um, exact update uh, method for inserting dummy record.
we here insert into employee uh, in general uh, you don't have to list all these columns uh, if you are not sure or different order you may list it uh, wherever you want so number name age and the address in order and then values because I have a more than one value so I will say values and then you can uh, type the dummy data for e e zero 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 one for number and three for name twenty one for age and for gender New York for address that doesn't do anything again okay? uh, we have to um, exit update method so exit update that actually uh, send the SQL text to database and will uh, process the query so run file okay have a look yes there is one record okay so let me add maybe uh, two more one is not enough okay because I'm going to update one record and I will remove one record so and at least I need to have a three here again uh, it's the same order so it is not necessary so I'll remove don't forget to add the additional space it's easy to make a mistake uh, number two, let me just add this one first and then I will demonstrate what I mean by you should consider adding one space female, same place it is not necessary, so remove because I'm going to have the same order as uh, uh, columns we have three I will say George Forty. So let's say if you don't have the space, uh, let's see what happens. Let me print the statement, so you can see why uh, that can be a simple mistake. So here I said you have an error in your SQL statement. So if you look at the statement employee and values, there is no space. It recognizes what one word. So there should be a space, okay? Employee space and or you can add a space before value. Normally I do that uh, at the end. So whenever you have a multiple statement in SQL or SQL, please add one space at the end so you can avoid that uh, simple mistake. Okay, for today I'll stop here. Thank you.